You've probably heard of my cues. As remarkable as his achievements have been, what I read before the launch was that he would deliver photos proving that the Earth is flat. We all know the Earth is really big though, and he only reached an altitude of about 1,875 feet. For the purpose of photographing the edge of the Earth, you'd do better hiking up a tall mountain, or better yet, getting into a passenger jet and shooting pictures from there. Don't worry though, there is a way to scientifically prove that the Earth is flat, and it's a pretty simple experiment. I'll explain with the Lego Earth. Here we have a small, flat Earth. If the Earth really is flat, you'll be able to tell because the Sun will hit it all at roughly the same time, like this. To do the same experiment on a large scale, you'll need at least two people, but three would be better. Every person will need a simple, accurate watch. First, synchronize your watches. Then one of you should travel far east to Florida, Another should travel to the middle of the continent, somewhere like Texas. And another should travel far west. Hollywood would be a good place. Get up to a really high place or to the beach, and when you see the sun rise or the sun set, when about half of the sun is down below the horizon, mark the time as precisely as you can. Then come back together, make sure your watches are still synchronized, and compare the times you've written down. If the times all three of you have recorded are within a few minutes of each other, you'll have proven the NASA conspiracists are wrong. To sense your argument, spread your group out in north and south, and measure the angle to the North Star. Do this simply with a protractor, a string, and a small weight. One of you could travel south to Argentina to eat some pizza. You could send your robot to hang out with some monkeys in Ecuador. Someone could visit Texas again. Or maybe Pennsylvania. and someone could travel far north in Canada and crash a Star Wars theme party. Maybe while wearing a Robin Hood costume. To use the protractor string and weight, find the North Star. Then point the protractor at it and sight down the straight edge like this. When the weight has stabilized, pinch it to the protractor and measure the number of degrees away from 90 of the position of the string. If you can find the North Star while you're down in Argentina, and if there are only a few degrees of difference between the measurements everyone in the group has taken, then you'll have double proof that the NASA conspiracists are wrong. If the Earth is a sphere, however, you should expect to see the sun rising and setting quite a bit later in Hollywood than in Miami. Between two and three hours later if the Earth is as big as NASA says it is. Because the sunrise will be caused by the Earth spinning into the sun and the sunset will be caused by the Earth spinning away from it. If the North Star is positioned over the North Pole of a spherical Earth, then the measurement you take when you sight down the straight edge of the protractor will tell you how far away you are from the North Pole. If you're in the Southern Hemisphere, however, the body of the Earth will hide the North Star from you. Another way to prove the Earth is flat is to go look for the edge of it. The method I've described above is much safer, though. 
Now you know how to take on NASA and prove that the Earth is flat just using a watch and some transportation. Good luck.